look at this. All right. This is what the guy is ripping off when he's doing this. All right. Take a look at this. So people don't realize that this, oh, yeah, see how it's the same? Oh, yeah. It's the exact same. I, yeah, it's... And I know, I know it's the exact same because I did a parody of the cyberpunk thing for something. I don't even remember what. And uh -huh. I'm, I'm aware when I look at this, this is not a font. But what happens is people will go, I want to do the shining font. And then they go, what's the shining font? And it's not a font. So some other guy goes, I'm going to turn it into a font. And so then yes. to, the, to the best of his ability, he creates new letter forms Yes, from so from people need to seen. understand this. So if you look at this cyberpunk font here, this was deliberately made specifically for this game by a guy who designed this basically as a logo. It's not a font. It's not the entire alphabet that he created. This was he never sat there. meant to work yeah. in a different combination. I mean, look at the, you got the no. tiny capital N next to a lowercase u. It's designed for them to interlock in this situation in yes. this situation yes. only people you, people used to do that too with the naruto logo do you remember that like in the yeah. 2000s everybody's yeah. username that like capital letter naruto font so every which is another it's calligraphy if you have a calligraphy style font it can never work as a, a logo it can never work as a Sven, font. look at this how it's a little hard to see but look at the word podcast under paint Look how shit yeah, that really... looks. Isn't that so <laughs> stupid looking? <laughs> Holy All fuck. Right. And he's been using this now for like three years or more. And he said no, he wears I... a hoodie. He wears a hoodie on his show with that on it. And he's like, yep. And I don't know if he's selling them or not, but I I actually saw somebody in his comments today say, bro, do you sell those hoodies? Those look awesome. We are the minority. You and I might be the only people looking at this and thinking there's an issue. But when I look at this, I'm now, like, I think, I'm willing to bet oh. if uh, I'm willing to bet if we press play on that video, it's going to get worse from here. I think oh, we've dug course. into his uh, font design. <laughs> well, real quick, real quick, hang on, hang on, real quick. When when a guy makes this font, all these letters that aren't in the logo, he just invented off the top of his head, and. Yeah. Anyone can technically do this, but making a font is one of the absolute hardest design things there is yeah. because almost yes. every other thing is a feeling and a font is not a feeling alone. It's a little bit, but it is legibility. It is sizing. What, what size, what application is this font meant to be used as? This is not meant to be yeah. a font. So you're basically making 26 little logos or more that or, all need to work in tandem with one another. And, and they in, don't in any combination and they just straight yes. up don't. So when you see, and this is why, you know, when I said before, you and I are wrong about this. I of course don't actually think that the reason I say that is the people watching this, they're going in their heads, they're rolling their eyes. They're going, fuck this. We want you to make fun of the man. Please start talking about the guy. And I yeah. want to give you guys the tool. We have here a guest who is versed in this kind of stuff. It's somebody I can play off of for once that knows what I'm talking about when I say this shit. So <laughs> we're giving you these tools. And now, from now on, you can do this. You can go, oh, here's a guy I can write off totally as a human being. Because this is a guy, this dude is one of these guys who sits in front of a microphone and tells you how it is and tells you why everyone else is stupid. And I know that that looks real rich coming from me in front of this microphone and Sven in front of that microphone. But this is the one area of expertise where he and I maybe know something about this. When you see a guy and his, in his mind, he's like, yeah, you know what? Call it a day in the paint podcast, just a random video. Oh, what's that? I'm just going to use cyberpunk aesthetics for no reason it's attached to nothing we recently had a show Sven, where i was talking about vaporwave and cyberpunk like all these right wing okay. type of guys okay. are using those aesthetics well yeah yes this is a this is a common theme where people are still using like the uh the retro 80s grid the grid and, uh, we talked I'm about the grid, the grid! But uh, but I think this, like when it comes to vaporwave, at least, uh, look, look, 
cyber when we when you talk about cyberpunk right now what you're talking about is specifically when this game came up they people started emulating that vibe of course that is different from the genre of cyberpunk this right because there's many they're not they're not emulating like a blade runner but they which they used to do too by of the way course, that, the was the that was the one <laughs> that was the one that was the one but but with when vaporwave that one is so played out that I even think that crossed over into normie sphere as in okay we can no longer use the like the uh, the uh, the Venetian statue head right and then yeah, the yeah. or the fern yeah. like the fern and the statue head and the grid that's you can't they but they're still Mersh still uses Mersh, it right? and Mersh and this is why we talk about this this is why we're talking about this the other week Flecka's talks. And Mer and Revenge of the Sis have the exact same vaporwave grid aesthetics for no reason. It was played out when they started using them. This dude yeah. is now, he's even further late to the game. You're saying everybody was doing cyberpunk when cyberpunk. This is way after cyberpunk came out. And, okay, okay. and, and I want to be clear, and this is something people should understand. This isn't like elitism by any means. If you have a reason to do cyberpunk, then cyberpunk is cool. Sven made a cyberpunk comic. We're not saying it's bad. Look at me. Look where I'm sitting right now. I'm not saying you can't do this. I'm saying you can't do this. Yeah, but, but this wait a second. A I want to clarify, though. I'm not, when, with my comic book, if you pull up my covers, I'm not emulating right, a right. specific cyberpunk aesthetic or anything. It's It's a... This comic book falls under the genre of cyberpunk right. because it takes place in a dystopian future and it's like a satirical a dark story future. about where a future could end. So, but my 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 graphic design when it comes to these books has nothing to do with any sort of pre-existing properties at all. You know and what I'm complete aside from that, real quick, Comedy Shaman is in chat, and I just want to say, Comedy Shaman tried to buddy up with you on Twitter recently and you told him you asked him to leave you alone and you called him like a junkie or you were very very mean to him and uh yeah, and we applaud that we loved that we loved it all right it was well, if you, uh, i would hope you can respect uh, my decision to not interact at yes. all with any schizoid schizophrenic schizoid. type of dirty mm. dirty junkie type of i guys. believe that's actually what you called him was a dirty schizoid so comedy shaman Sven is my best friend. I am going to respectfully. Uh, you're welcome in the pot awful chat anytime, but tonight. Not in the Sven not, chat. Not, not in the Sven. There. Not in the Sven chat, and not here tonight. Where's ban him? We ban do. Him right no, don't ban him, guys. Do not ban comedy no, shop. From my chat. We're just going to ask him politely to respect Sven's wishes to not be bothered by a junkie, yeah, a me. disgusting freak. And I like you, comedy shaman. Still, even though you threaten to murder me and my family all the time. Um, we're going to respect your wishes here, Sven, and we're going to ask him, please, to leave the yes, chat. Yes, thank you okay. so much. I, so, I appreciate that, bestie. So let's yeah, get out of so here. I, so glitching cyberpunk, all this stuff is so overused, and it's not that it can't be done. I use it. It's that there's an amount, and there is a time Again, you know, it's not black and white thinking. If you know what you're doing, right. you can find the nuance in your design aspects, okay? Glitching is not a bad thing. By the way, you, okay, so look, we're nerding out about designs, right? Can I, can I, can I blow your mind with some uh, design philosophy when it comes right. to glitches? Yeah, let's hear it. And I've talked about this in the past too, but um, fundamentally, what people tend to do is this. Okay, so you have a medium, right?